make sure to hit that like button. Let's aim for 10,000 likes. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel for the best top five videos. If you do hit that like button and you subscribe to the channel, then let me know down in the comments below. I'll be replying to 100 of you. So if you want a good chance of me replying to you, make sure you're one of the first people to watch my videos by turning on notifications. Top five deadly flying creatures. Why, hello there, YouTube. I didn't see you come in. As you all should probably know by now, here on Top 5 Best, we are fascinated by animals. I mean, seriously, this is what, the seventh video about deadly creatures? Ah, however, this one is different. This one is about flying deadly creatures. We're fascinated by animals, and there's no doubt that there are some incredibly dangerous creatures out there. However, when it comes to dangerous creatures, is there anything scarier than something descending upon you from the sky? The skies of this world boast some of the most powerful and dangerous creatures known to man, and often people encounter these dangerous animals to find themselves at the raw end of a beating. Or worse, have you ever caught yourself wondering what the most dangerous animals to grace our skies are? Because I know that I sit out in my backyard on a regular basis just dreaming of seeing an eagle carry a cat off into the sunset. And that's why today on Top 5 Best we're observing five of the most dangerous flying animals. Let's begin, shall we? Number 5. Golden Eagle this savage bird is one of the most prominent birds of prey in the northern hemisphere. These majestic birds are huge and can sport a wingspan of up to six feet. They tend to fly around the western territories of North America, but can also be seen in Mexico and have even been spotted as far north as Alaska. They are incredibly strong and even though they feed on a diet of fish, squirrels, marmots, reptiles, and other small ground animals, they have been known to attempt much bigger animals as seen in this famous footage of a golden eagle swooping down to grip a goat and attempting to fly away with it. It's terrifying. It's certain to say that they will try their hand at stealing most things from the ground, and they have even been known to try and carry off human toddlers. That's even more terrifying, actually. They can weigh up to 12 kilograms, and apparently they are only capable of carrying up to 4 kilograms, which is why they struggle with goats and toddlers. However, these eagles will try their hand at most things in pursuit of prey. In some cases, they have been spotted in film carrying small deer, which is incredible and almost hard to believe. I kind of don't want to believe it. Looks like it's carrying a small deer and trying to get it back to its nest. Unbelievable. Number 4. European Eagle Owl In defense of their mates, their offspring, or their territories, owls of any type have been known to pick a fight with humans. Luckily, it's incredibly rare that an owl attack ends with a fatality. Fatality. The European Eagle Owl seems to be especially prone to attacking humans, and with a wingspan of nearly six feet, it's an intimidating bird nobody wants to pick a fight with. In 2015, a European Eagle Owl spent its time flying the streets of Pomerand in northern Holland, attacking the village's residents at nighttime. Apparently, over 50 people fell victim to this owl's ruthless claws, and considering that this species is the largest species of owl in the entire world, that must have been a terrifying sight for the unprepared pedestrians going about their night. According to Fox News, people became so terrified of this flying threat, they started to take out umbrellas at nighttime just in case they encountered the bird. However, generally these owls don't go hunting for people. They tend to survive on a diet of small rodents, small deer, hares, and other smaller birds such as herons and buzzards. The general lifespan of these birds is 20 years, and some of them can be known to live up to 60 years, so if one starts to attack your quaint Dutch village, unfortunately you're going to be in for a long haul. Number 3. The Mute Swan Swans are so graceful and beautiful. The Queen of England wants to own them all, but the sad truth is that while they are beautiful, they are highly territorial and easily provoked when it comes to defending their young, and as one unlucky Chicago man found out, they are more than capable of killing off a human being. After a 37-year-old kayaker named Anthony Hensley was out enjoying the water of his Chicago pond, a large mute swan attacked him, knocking him out of his boat and continued to mercilessly attack the helpless man until he drowned. Sadly, their eye-pleasing aesthetic is not a reflection of their mentality or physical capabilities. A swan will always try to attack with its incredibly sharp beak rather than with its wings, but commonly uses the flapping of its wings as a mean of defense against anything which attacks. That or to anything it considers dangerous. These powerful water birds possess a wingspan that can reach up to 9 feet, and they can weigh up to 12 kilograms. Apparently, your dog stands more of a chance of being attacked by a mute swan than you do, but be careful to never drift into their territory throughout their mating periods, because a male swan will attack anything that it deems a threat to its side nets. Or is it cygnets? How do you pronounce that word? Moving on, number 2! Africanized honeybees. Also known as killer bees, and with good reason, these flying insects are lethal as they swarm around their victims and inject them with venom. 
In 2014, one unlucky Arizona man who was unnamed by the press is said to have died because of a swarm of 800,000 of these deadly bees set upon him. The 32-year-old man was working as a gardener for a pensioner near the Mexican border. Upon switching on his lawnmower, he disturbed the angry swarm of bees who were hidden away in the man's attic, and the hive quickly swarmed out to attack the man. The unfortunate man suffered with a heart attack, and the medics found him dead when they arrived. The attack happened in Douglas, Arizona, when landscapers accidentally disturbed a colony in the attic of a home with noise from a lawnmower. The colony was home to an estimated 800,000 bees. One, two, three, even four calls a week. Firefighters used foam and pesticides to fight the swarm before they were able to ultimately remove the hive, which an exterminator said could have been there for as many as 10 years. We're used to the bee calls. Our crews actually have bee suits inside all the trucks. The massive attack, which probably sounds almost unbelievable to many, didn't come as a total shock to the Douglas Fire Department. This was just one instance in a long spree of bee attacks in the United States. Just weeks before this shocking incident, 68-year-old Donald Williams of Waco, Texas found himself as the victim of a swarm of bees 40,000 strong. Similar to the case in Arizona, Donald was mowing his backyard when the swarm descended upon him. It seems that a pattern was beginning to emerge in these cases, and for some reason, these aggressive bees take serious issue with lawnmowers. It appears that scientists delivered a Frankenstein of a monster with the Africanized honeybee. These specific species of bee was actually created in a laboratory in the 1950s by mixing the genes of European honeybees with that of an African bee. The scientists at the root of its creation were hoping to birth a species of bee capable of producing greater quantities of honey. Instead, they created a killer that creates less honey and has a bad temper. Thanks, science. Thanks for nothing! Number 1. Asian Giant Hornet This hornet species, also known as the giant sparrow bee, is the largest hornet on the planet. Their bodies can grow up to 1.8 inches long, and their wingspan is 3 inches wide. They use a singer that can reach up to 0.24 inches to inject brutal quantities of highly potent venom. In 2013, these hornets killed 42 people in China and hospitalized a further 1,500. If you haven't gotten the picture by now, these things are terrifying and deadly. And mostly terrifying. Don't go near them! According to experts, in some cases, the toxicity of their venom isn't the factor that kills victims. Even though their venom can cause the failure of multiple organs, some people are simply more susceptible to allergies caused by insect stings, and that is often what kills people. Because of the effects of an allergic reaction to these winged demons are airway closure or cardiac arrest. One Chinese farm worker named Mu Kongwei was attacked by a swarm while tending to crops. She was forced to spend two months in the hospital after the hornet stung her legs and arms, and after 200 stitches and 13 dialysis treatments, she was still unable to move her legs and was bedridden. Hornets are certainly not friendly animals. Even when they are not attacking humans, they're incredibly ruthless within their own ecosystems and feed on the larvae of other insects to their young as well as biting the heads off their prey. Jerks. Generally in Asia, it is believed that urbanization could be a contributing factor to the rise in hornet attacks on people, because human beings are spreading out and moving closer to the hornet's nests. And that is our video for today. So, did this video get you kind of scared of hornets? Just the hornets? Because in all honesty, everything else kind of pales in comparison to these hornets. If that's the case, why don't you go down to the comments and tell us about your newfound fear of hornets, and then you can give us a like and subscribe to us, because maybe that'll keep the hornets away. Helps us keep our hornets away if you help us. Seriously, they keep coming back. They're scary. Well, with that said, I'm going to go install some new windows to keep the hornets out. You all have a great day.